6 October 2011, Dateline, Meriden, Connecticut. Beautiful sunny day, about 70 degrees, little heat wave here in October. And we're shooting a little video today to showcase a Meriden phenomenon. Started here right in Meriden, Connecticut, my hometown, a long time ago. It has spread a little bit and was a little bit in the surrounding communities. It is a phenomenon known as the steamed cheeseburger. Yes, indeed. We're going to zero in on this sign. There you see it. Kayla May's steamed cheeseburger's now open. Here's the building. We're going to go inside and we're going to talk with the owner, Kevin LeMay. He's not the originator of the steamed cheeseburger, but he makes the best one in town. We're going to bop in here and have a look at the process, because a lot of you guys never heard of a steamed cheeseburger, and it may sound really weird to you, but let me tell you what. Until you wrap your lips around one, you don't know what good is. So here's the, here's the big beast that I rode up here from Florida on just to get a steamed cheeseburger. Nah, I'm lying. I came here on vacation, but while I'm in Meriden, I get my fill of these things because you can't get them anywhere else. All righty, we're now inside Kayla May's Steam Cheeseburgers. It's a small place. It was just packed. A bunch of people just finished up lunch. It's like 20 after 1. A couple of patrons still eating. So we're going to walk around here. We're going to meet Kevin LeMay, the man behind the machine. Right here. How are you doing, bud? Hey. I had one. I had one here yesterday, and it was the best thing I ever ate in my life. I had to come back today and run some video on this, so that the people of the universe can see what Meriden's all about and see a steamed cheeseburger being built. Yep. That looks like a bacon steam cheeseburger. Look at that monster. Ah. The rolls. The rolls are very, very important. The rolls come from a bakery in New Haven, and they're honest to God, New York hard rolls, the chewy kind that you got to tear apart. The cheese is a special sharp cheddar. I'll wait till he uh, starts putting another one together. Well, you can see over here, let me zoom in on this a little bit. That's the steamer box, all stainless steel. And the burgers are, uh, the hamburger is put into little trays and the cheese is put into other little trays. And it's steam cooked. The benefit of that is you cook out the fat and you do not cook out the juice. So we're going to see in a minute. Some steamers being built. Oh, perfect, perfect. All right, here we go. The meat's coming out. There you dump the juice, and here comes that beautiful piece of meat right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And there goes the lava. The beautiful cheddar cheese right on the top. The thing of beauty right there. Get steamed up from the fryer later. Look at that. That's a juice. That's a piece of work. So big it won't fit in one piece of foil. Ah, yeah. The second for the motor, you may not know if it's all the double one. So there you go, that's the process. And these things have a flavor absolutely unlike any other cheeseburger. You cannot compare this to a, a steam broil, a flame broil cheeseburger, or any other kind of thing cheeseburger. It's its own animal. So this guy's doing a kick-ass job right here. I just want to run this video and put him on the map and let the world know what a steam cheeseburger is all about. If I can get this to focus in on the menu. Yeah, here's the pricing right here. Here we go.
There you go. That's what they go for. Not unreasonable at all. Just trying to keep out of these guys' way because they're very busy cranking out a lot of to-go orders here. This place is doing great. Kevin's also up, opened up a place in uh, next town over Middletown to capture Wesleyan students, Wesleyan University, get that business, and he's doing real good with that one over there. It's a good American success story. You got something unique, you do it right, and it'll work. So that's it. Now you've been, now you have seen a steamed cheeseburger, you know what it's all about. Now the next thing you gotta do is get your ass up here to Marion, Connecticut and eat one. Trick Rick signing off. Eat hearty. All right, here is my beastie. Tomato, little onion, little lettuce, and a lot of, look at that lava, look at that cheese. Oh, this is awesome. So we're gonna put a little salt and pepper on this and be done.